Good morning, Evan. It's Saturday, and today I thought I'd try something a little bit different. Previously, I had recorded myself commuting to work, and I thought I'd talk a little bit about my commute to work, some of the places along the way, maybe some random thoughts thrown in here and there, and we'll see if we can get this on the first take. So, I usually ride my motorcycle to work, which I really enjoy. It's a lot of fun. And I actually, uh, the way I set this up is... I ride with a backpack with my stuff in it and I took my phone and a couple of rubber bands and strapped my phone to the shoulder strap of my backpack and that's how I was able to get this. No fancy setup, just a couple of rubber bands and I was able to get it. <laughs> so off to the right here on this road that we're coming up on, this is Parker Lane and that just down the block is where our church is, which is really nice. Uh, it's not very far away, so some days we walk if it's not too hot or we're not too late. And yeah, it's really cool. So this street that I'm on right now is Oltorf, and it's a really busy, kind of dirty street. Like the street is just literally dirty because it's driven on a lot and it's just bleh. It's kind of, anyway, I don't like the street very much, but it's really busy. A lot of people travel on it. So the original footage that I recorded of me traveling to work was about 22, 23 minutes. And what I've done is that I've spliced out all the places where I'm stopped waiting at lights. And I think it ends up being about 9, just under 10 minutes, which is interesting. So here in Austin, uh, it's pretty hot during the day, but in the morning when I commute to work, it's usually 70s, 80s in the morning so it's not too bad I've got my textile jacket that's breathable and this road right here they have been doing construction on this road forever <laughs> we've been living here for a year and they've been doing whatever here the whole time and some of the people that we know who have lived here longer than us also have known that this has been worked on even longer than before we got here. But anyway, there's also an alternate route that I sometimes take to work, which goes through a little bit more housing area, but this day I decided to take this route. It's the most straightforward route to work. So here we are coming up on South Congress. South Congress is the main thoroughfare from the south up through to the middle of Austin, and it actually goes right up to the capital of Texas, which is Austin. The actual capital building, I should say. Um, I guess that's why they call it Congress. Anyway, uh, we won't be making any more turns now that we're here on Congress, and we'll actually get to see the uh, capital building, which is really cool. So we have all these kind of businesses and streets off to the side, and you can already see a skyscraper in downtown Austin. I don't remember the name of that skyscraper, but um, yeah, I'm not really sure what to talk about here. Oh, so on the right, you can see that there's a bike lane. Uh, when I was riding my bike for about the first year of working, I would ride in these bike lanes, which is really wonderful. It's really great that we have bike lanes dedicated to cycling. Downside to cycling in the city is there are cars and drivers. I shouldn't say cars. It's the drivers that don't really pay much attention to the cyclists. So that can be troublesome, but I have the same issue on the motorcycle. Nice thing about Austin is there's pretty good public transportation. You've got buses, um, trains, bike lanes, so, yeah, it's pretty nice. Now we're getting a little bit closer to downtown. There's more. There's some more interesting shops. There's a school we're passing by here on the right. And uh, you can start to see more of the cityscape of the downtown area. So you can see the tallest skyscraper in downtown. And then in between that and some others on the right, right in the middle, that's the Capitol building. Um, off to the left here, there's the Allen's Boots, which is apparently a fairly popular, famous boot place. There's a church here on the right. Also, uh, is this Annie Street? Nope. Anyway, 
uh, home slice pizza on the right, really famous. On the left, we just passed Hop Dotties, which is that hamburger place I was telling you about. On the right, there is a hat shop that I recently bought a hat from. On the left, there's a coffee shop that's really popular. This snack bar allows pets in there. It's pet friendly, which is interesting. Also, a couple streets back, we passed a street called Annie Street that I sometimes, when I'm walking, that's the street I come out to on Congress. Left here, on the left side, there is the Austin School for the Deaf, which is really cool. I, we should, Cassie and I should take a tour of that place. They have tours. Anyway, you can't see it very well because of all the trees and the walls, but it's a, it sounds like a pretty cool, cool store. Not a store. Oh my gosh. A school. <laughs> Uh, so you can see Austin has done a fairly good job of keeping uh, trees and grass and whatnot, various vegetation in the city. And we are getting closer to downtown. We can see the streets, not the streets. Oh my gosh. Uh, we can see <laughs> the skyline, which is exciting. So we're coming up onto the bridge that goes over the Colorado River that goes right down the middle of Austin. And this bridge is interesting because when they remodeled it or they rebuilt it, I'll have to look up the history a little bit better, but when they rebuilt it or fixed it or whatever, they built it in such a way, and they didn't really plan for this, but it is home to a huge bat population. And the way they built it, there's all these pockets in there that are apparently just perfect for bats, and the bats love it. So there's a huge bat population, and it's really popular for tourists to come and check out the bats during the bat season, which I forget when it is. But yeah. So this uh, really cool looking skyscraper on the right side, just above the bus, that's a bluish, greenish tint, and it's kind of pointy, that's called the Frost Tower. That's a really cool building. It's one of my favorites. Uh, it's really well designed. I've actually never been in it, but it's really cool. I should get a tour of it sometime. Take my wonderful wife with me. So here we are now in the heart of downtown, or at least the heart of what I consider downtown because it's the part I'm always in. Uh, they're doing construction to build some new stuff. Off to the right, They during South by Southwest, they had a bunch of uh, tents set up for a bunch of the South by Southwest stuff. It's taken down now and they're building some kind of building there now. And there's a bunch of shops and buildings around here. Let's see if, uh, if I can remember anything interesting. Off to the right, there's a uh, bar. They do live jazz all the time. It's pretty cool. When Canute was down, we went there with his friend and listened to some of the live jazz. It was really cool. And right in front of us, as you can see, if we kept driving, we drive right into the Capitol building, which is really cool. Uh, Cassie and I have walked around in there. It's a lot of fun. We'll have to take you and take a look through it. Some really interesting history there. And around downtown, they have a bunch of statues and monuments. Not really statues, but different things describing some of the history of Austin. And now we have arrived at work. So the building that I work in is called the Scarborough building and Austin's really cool in that a while ago they passed a rule that allowed motorcyclists to park on the street in paid parking areas for free to encourage well I don't know what their goal was but it certainly encourages people to ride their motorcycles it makes life a lot easier and they're more fuel efficient than cars so that's really nice so I just park wherever I want on the street as long as it's a regular paid parking spot I usually try to park with other motorcyclists because that allows for so I don't take up a whole car's parking spot I usually try to take the stairs since I'm being health conscious and riding the motorcycle and that's my commute to work so love ya hope you have a great day